Invoicing policy in Europe, um, state of play and future perspectives. Let me um, tell you that um, when I was here in Rome uh, the previous year, I was uh, explaining uh, our intention at the EU level about how to promote uh, uptake of invoicing in the EU and in particular in Italy. But now what is very important, and I would like to emphasize that, is the fact that we are now at a point of implementation. Uh, and uh, it's exactly the same as uh, in Italy. Uh, and of course, when you start implementing is where you have the most uh, difficult uh, elements to be solved. And here uh, we have made uh, two key progress uh, this year at the EU level. First one is that we know now how to proceed to ensure that a standard will be there to ensure interoperability. So we have worked uh, during two years uh, with the uh, European Forum on Invoicing, where Italy, of course, is an active member. And we agreed on uh, an approach. I will not enter in the detail of the approach, but it's an approach will, which will at the same time ensure uh, or contribute to the interoperability at the EU level while respecting uh, national decisions. And as you know, in Italy, but also in other countries, they have started implementing national uh, standards. So the fact to be in agreement on the approach is politically essential because the member states they understand what they will have to do, and at the EU level, we will ensure uh, interoperability. And without interoperability, I mean, no businesses will start um, invoicing. So that's the first uh, key achievement of this year. The second key achievement of this year is that we have now a directive. Uh, it's a proposed directive uh, sent to the European Parliament and the Council. Uh, concerning e-invoicing in uh, public uh, procurement, where uh, we have clarified the legal framework for e invoicing And the key element is that uh, if any stakeholder sent to uh, any kind of public administration an e-invoicing respectful to uh, the European standard which will be developed, the public administration can't refuse this uh, invoicing. So you see the way we, 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 we are proceeding. We don't want to make it compulsory, but we, uh, we pave the way for uh, a rapid uptake. Uh, because that's the interest of the, the businesses, that's the interest of the administration, and the fact that an administration can't refuse an invoicing will certainly trigger uh, very rapidly the uptake, not only by administration, but also by all the, the businesses, not only in Italy, but also uh, hopefully in, uh, in the whole uh, European Union. So we, we have really achieved two key elements. Now it will take some years because it's complicated, but we are really on track and uh, I'm very satisfied with with what has been achieved over the last two years.